Say what? What is going on, YouTube Verse? John Stanick from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another episode of Say What, where we talk about current music events. And you can't get much more current than the 2022 Grammy nominations that were just announced earlier today. And I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't talk a lot about the Grammys on this channel because, in my honest opinion, they've become more and more of kind of a joke through the years. Uh, they've always been, I feel, a little bit behind the curve in honoring certain artists. Uh, usually they kind of miss the boat on a great album from an artist and then years later they kind of play catch up and give someone an, an award for an album that wasn't as great. Uh, that happens a lot. Also, you know, for me personally, I often feel out of touch with the Grammys because it's more a popularity contest than it is maybe the best albums of the year. And uh, you'll kind of see as I run through the list, of course, I'm not going through every category. I'm just going to hit kind of the high notes and give my opinion on this, um, which some of this music I'm not that familiar with, to be honest with you, but I was actually proud of myself. I think about seven out of 10 artists um, in the main categories, I've heard the album or heard the song. So let's start with Record of the Year, which means, because uh, there's Record of the Year and there's Song of the Year, for those who don't know, uh, Record of the Year is more uh, geared towards the producer and everyone that worked on the album. Song of the Year goes toward uh, the songwriter. Um, but there's a lot of... Um, overlap with those two categories. But anyway, record of the year, uh, there's I Still Have Faith in You by ABBA, which um, kind of cool to see ABBA on here, honestly, even though I wasn't that crazy about uh, the new ABBA album and uh, never really was a big ABBA fan, but it's cool to see them come back with the song and it get recognized. Um, Freedom by John Baptiste. Uh, love John Baptiste. I think he's a really cool guy. Wasn't crazy about his new album, but this song on the album uh, was a standout and I think uh, deserves to be honored. Um, then we got I Get a Kick Out of You by Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Um, you know, you got to love Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga is very cool. I, I dig her too. And uh, it was a nice collaboration effort on this album and that's a classic tune. So I get why that would be nominated. Um, so not not too much uh, issue so far, but then we have Peaches by Justin Bieber. Uh, I really no comment on that. Not a fan of the Biebers, uh, but hey, there's there's the believers out there. Uh, right on time by Brandy Carlisle. Love Brandy Carlisle. Huge fan. Not a huge fan of this song in particular. I thought there was stronger songs on the new album, but. Um, but I get it, uh, and cool that she's being honored. Um, Kiss Me More by Doja Cat featuring SZA. I haven't heard this song, to be honest with you, so I have no opinion on it. Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. Uh, did a review of this album on my channel, and this, I think, was one of the standout tracks. Uh, this one I'm absolutely psyched about. I think deserves to be a nominee for sure. Um, then there's Montero, Call Me By Your Name by Lil Nas X. Another one that I have not heard. Uh, Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. I've heard of this song, but have not heard it to my knowledge. Uh, who knows? I may have heard it in a department store or something. You never know. Um, and then there's Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonic, which I absolutely love. Just did a review of that album on the channel recently as well. And I think that's the one that uh, should win and very possibly uh, could win. Because uh, I think everybody loves Silk Sonic and uh, it's, it's a universally loved song. So I think that's got a real shot at winning. So that's record of the year. Um, song of the year is very similar. There's just a few differences, like you have Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran, which was okay. Um, a Beautiful Noise, Alicia Keys and Brandi Carlisle. That was all right too, nothing crazy about it. Um, Fight For You by Her, I, I love her. I think she's really talented and I think, um, this song was really good uh, from, I can't remember the soundtrack, but it was not on her album. Uh, but this this was a cool song. Um, 
Again, though, it's uh, happier than ever and leave the door open that I think are the two best. And again, I'd give it to leave the door open. So now album of the year. This is uh, very interesting. We got uh, We Are by John Baptiste. Uh, that's cool. Love for Sale, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Again, some overlap here. Uh, Justice by Justin Bieber. Uh, sorry, folks. No way. Uh, Planet Her by Doja Cat. Again, haven't heard that one. Happier Than Ever, Billie Eilish. Thumbs up. Back of My Mind by Her. Uh, it was all right. Uh, I, again, I really dig Her as an artist. Uh, amazingly talented, but wasn't crazy about her album as a whole. I felt it was a bit bloated and nothing really happened. Um, nothing as exciting as the Fight For You single. Uh, anyway, uh, Montero, Lil Nas X, haven't heard it. Sour, Olivia Rodrigo, haven't heard it. Evermore by Taylor Swift. Uh, you know, it's interesting that no individual songs from Taylor Swift got nominated for record or song of the year. Um, but of course, everyone loves Taylor Swift. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest, and Evermore uh, didn't really do it for me. I kind of found it to be a bit of a snooze fest. And uh, so, yeah, it wouldn't be my favorite. Um, and then Donda by Kanye West is nominated, which I was really surprised because the Academy uh, in the past has snubbed him a lot. Um, and this, in my opinion, is one of his weaker efforts out of all his albums. Um, kind of like um, what I just said about her, definitely very bloated. It is a double album after all, but um, yeah, I, I don't think it was that great. And uh, yeah, uh, for album of the year, I would definitely have to go with Billie Eilish out of all of these that are nominated. So um, other than that, uh, I'm gonna kind of just give an opinion on some other things like best new artist. Um, I don't know many of these new artists. Uh, Phineas, who's the brother of Billie Eilish, uh, that's cool that he's nominated. Glass Animals, they've been around for a little while, so I'm not sure what the requirements are for best new artist, but that doesn't really make sense. And also, while we're on that note, why wouldn't Silk Sonic be a new artist? I mean, I know Bruno and Anderson Pack have been around a while with their respective solo careers, but this being a new venture, you would think I don't know, you know what the requirements are, but I truly have no opinion on Best New Artist because most of these guys, I don't know who they are and I'm not familiar with their music. I'd lean towards Phineas, I guess, even though I haven't heard much of his music uh, solo work either. But uh, moving on to the pop field, I don't have much to say about the pop field. It's a lot of overlap from the main categories. Uh, I did find it interesting that um, Coldplay was nominated for Best Pop Duo Group Performance for Higher Power. Was happy to see that. Uh, I was hoping to see a little more of Coldplay, but I know the cutoff for the year is September and their album came out in October, so that makes sense. Um, I was surprised also in the pop category that uh, Anthony Ramos was not nominated for anything. Um, so what's up with that? Um, also, not even for a Latin category. It, that, that struck me as weird. Um, so then moving on to rock, which I, I think the Grammys usually really just get rock wrong uh, these days. Um, they actually had some decent uh, people nominated. Uh, Shot in the Dark by ACDC. Uh, know You Better by Black Pumas, who I really dig them. Nothing Compares to You by Chris Cornell, which was recorded a while back, but I guess it's on the new compilation, uh, but great cover by Chris Cornell. Uh, Ohms by Deftones, I was psyched about that, and I think that should win, because, uh, God, I love that song, it's so good. Uh, and then Making a Fire by Foo Fighters, of course, they always nominate Foo Fighters. Uh, decent track, not nothing to write home about. Um, can't believe there's no Manchester Orchestra, not even in the alternative category. Uh, blows my mind because their album, uh, Million Mass of God, is one of the best of the year. Incredible. Not nominated for anything. Also, the Black Keys, uh, not nominated in rock or alternative. However, they did get nominated for... Uh, best Contemporary Blues Album for Delta Cream, and that makes sense, so I was happy to see that. Um, but yeah, can't believe no Manchester Orchestra or Thrice. Uh, insane. 
And then um, Best Rock Album, ACDC again, Black Pumas, Chris Cornell, Foo Fighters, and Paul McCartney, which is a little surprising. Um, and he's also nominated for Find My Way for Best Rock Song, which in my opinion is more of a pop song than a rock song so that doesn't make much sense and wasn't even one of the best songs on that album uh, although i did in, enjoy mccartney three um the bandit by kings of leon was also nominated for best rock song uh good to see kings of leon in the running there um i would probably go with that one because I, I the weezer song didn't do much for me all my favorite songs um Distance by Wolfgang Van Halen was all right, but um, yeah, I guess I would go with The Bandit. But, you know, they always nominate this stuff that's just kind of like the most mediocre track on the album uh, in the most case. Aside from Ohms from Deftones for Best Rock Performance, uh, uh, that was a good one. Um, alternative albums... I don't know. The only one I've really listened to all the way through is Shore by Fleet Foxes, and it's all right. Um, but yeah, these other ones, man, I don't know. Like compared to the the '90s, like you know, the the grunge days and the the Radiohead days, um, or even Radiohead of current day. Uh, yeah, these guys. I don't know, man. You're, uh, r and you got Silk Sonic uh, nominated for a couple more things, so that's cool. Uh, rap, uh, it's interesting that Kanye West and Drake, who had that big beef this year, both of their albums are nominated, so um, I, I would assume that Kanye will win since he was nominated for Album of the Year. That seems to make sense, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, Nas and Tyler, the creator, probably had better albums, honestly. Um, in the country category, uh, which I don't really care that much about, uh, Chris Stapleton, I think, is the clear winner there with starting over the album and his song, Cold, which was really good from that album. But that that's really all that I would... Um, discuss and those are my personal opinions so i'd love to hear in, in the comments below what you think about the grammy nominations i will put a link in the description below to the full list of nominations if you care to look through it um like I said, I mean, it's really just uh, mostly nonsense. And, you know, one of these days uh, when Johnny Radio gets really big, maybe we'll do our own Johnny Radio Awards where we nominate the stuff that really counts in current day. Because like I said, there's uh, Manchester Orchestra, Thrice, um, and, and those albums did come out earlier in the year, so they qualify for sure. Um, just a, a lot of stuff that isn't being talked about. Uh, and that's what this channel is all about, discovering and rediscovering great music. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you're excited for the Grammys, if you watch it when it comes out. You know, sometimes I kind of watch half of it and then I'm like, okay, enough of this. But uh, guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.